Okay, uh, I hope this is working. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Crimson. <laughs> yes, it's my face. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna need some help here. My setup is all weird. Uh, is the audio too loud? Am I too loud? Please help. So, <laughs> see, I always feel like I'm too, I'm too low, or I'm too high. How about now? Okay, so the game, so that's game audio. What about the me talking audio? Thanks for that, Crimson. Okay, I'll turn myself up. I gotta go move over there to do that. All right, how about now? Oh, fuck, fucking microphone. I gotta keep fighting with this fucking thing. It's really annoying. All right. Okay, so I keep forgetting I have to look at this thing to, I keep looking over at my computer, but my computer doesn't have my camera, which is there. <clears throat> so I want to play every single Final Fantasy game. I have every single Final Fantasy game, and I would love to play them all as a record keeping because my mother and I play Final Fantasy XIV online which has a lot of references to a lot of Final Fantasy games. And so I get all of the references, but she doesn't get any of them. <clears throat> so I kind of want to play through all of these to sort of create a record so I can show her and be like, hey, if you want to know, you know, here's the story, here's Final Fantasy VII story, here's Final Fantasy VIII story, here's Final Fantasy IX story. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, uh, I'm doing Final Fantasy 7. I'm not doing them in order. I'm doing Final Fantasy 7 first because the remake comes out soon and I kind of want to get this out of there before remake so that when I play remake 
it, nobody's lost. Nobody's surprised by anything. Hi, Kitaku. <laughs> hey, this is weird. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Kitaku. <laughs> Oh, this is embarrassing. I am so embarrassed. <laughs> I don't I, I I don't know what I <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um so we're going to not gonna play the special movie because the special movie will kind of give away some of the uh, surprise, but when I finish the Purple glasses? That's Micro. Micro wears the purple glasses. Alright, so we're going to do a new game. And this is the PlayStation 4 version, which, as you can see in the bottom left, has, or in the bottom of the screen, has the plus L3 for the times 3 speed, which is nice when traveling long distances, I will admit. And then R3 is the battle boost. <clears throat> which battle boost is uh maxes out your hp your mp and it puts out your limit breaker at max which means you're basically indestructible and you can kill everything really quick they're great implementations for if you want to if you've played the game before and you just kind of want to speed through the story to as like a recap but since i'm trying to play this traditional ish ish I'm going to refrain from using that as much as possible. I may use the battle boost to get some of the limit breaks because they're kind of a bitch to get. But we shall go ahead and go. And so now we begin the Final Fantasy VII, which for me was the second Final Fantasy game I ever played. The first one I played, I was I played the first one, but I was like, six years far four or five six years old so i had no idea what the hell was going on i didn't fully understand it <clears throat> and oh, sorry and so final fantasy 7 came along and i was i think it was like 12 or 13 when it came out my math is terrible and uh i saw it and i was like holy shit this is this is awesome what what is this i, rem I remember playing the demo <clears throat> and the demo was like the first level which you'll see when we start and i remember being like this is cool this is awesome and then didn't have i didn't have a playstation i borrowed a friend's and so when i did get a playstation final fantasy 8 came out and i saw the new final fantasy and I went "Ooh, i want to get the new final fantasy and so i bought and played 8 and i loved 8 8 was great but then I borrowed 7 from a friend of mine, and I was like, holy crap, 7 is awesome as well. You know, me, personally, all Final Fantasy games are awesome. I, I personally think everyone's always comparing, oh no, 7 is better, 6 is better, uh, you know, 4 was better, 10 is better, you know, whatever. Me, personally, I think each of them, if you look at them by themselves, they're all great. They're all wonderful. They're all unique ways of telling a story, and they all try to do something that stands out from the others they keep similarities you have running themes you have certain you know story mechanics that kind of stay similar but they're all their own stories they they all like to be their own world and so everyone's all everyone's always trying to connect the worlds but that's dumb it's like they're they're all their own thing you don't need to connect these worlds but a lot of people seven was the one that because the first six well for the u.s it was the first three were super nintendo titles so not a lot of people played them because it's like oh it's a nintendo nobody cares <laughs> but whenever seven came out on the playstation and it was a graphical jump people lost their fucking minds Yeah, you know, a lot of people, I agree, Taylor, a lot of, a lot of people are like, oh no, Disneyland is better. No, Disney World is better. They're both their own things and they're both amazing. You know, they both have their own elements. You know, with Disneyland, you have California Adventure. With Disney World, you have the quote unquote, as Walt Disney envisioned it. Cause you know, if you, if you go to the history of all that and, and Final Fantasy is kind of the same. You get people just being like, no, no, this one's better. Um, 
But Final Fantasy VII was the one that everyone, more most people jumped in on. And because of that, I feel that every time people go into these arguments of which one is better, they're always basing it off of seven. So that's another reason why I kind of want to do the whole play every single one to be like, hey, look, each one is good in their own right. Even two, Final Fantasy II, which the gameplay mechanics were hard and terrible, it still has its own merits. But we're going to start with seven because this is the one that everybody always associates. Every time someone says Final Fantasy, everyone always thinks seven with Cloud and Sephiroth and, you know, Red 13 and Kate Sith and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and start this after my long dialogue. I apologize for that. So let's begin with the cutscene that blew everybody's mind because this was in the demo. I'm going to turn my TV up a little bit and hope it doesn't catch on the microphone. Starting with stars and space, <clears throat> epic proportions. It's very like, the, like the the droning sounds of of space. You know, space has a noise, and there we go. make it a little bit brighter in here. I notice I'm a little dark. <clears throat> 97, jeez. It's been 23 years since this game came out. Holy crap. Wow, Taylor, you made me feel real old. Jesus. <laughs> and now we begin the bombing run. And here we have our hero, Cloud. Come on, newcomer, follow me. I apologize for terrible voice acting. I'm not, I'm not frosted. All right. Here's our menu. I'm gonna do something real quick, because as traditional as the blue is, it's kind of painful on the eyes sometimes. <laughs> y yes, yes, I, I know I'm the same age as, as Frosted. Don't remind me. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do this, do this. And over here, I'm gonna do... Gotta love those good old PlayStation 1 sound effects. Okay, and then I think here I'm gonna go up a little bit. Just a smidge. Yeah, there we go. Cool. <clears throat> now, me personally, I like the look of this much better. Alright. By the way, these were incredible graphics at the time, so... <laughs> the good old combat system. So we have our active time battle. Which, in the bottom right, you'll see a little time meter. Every time I attack, a little bar will start to fill up. Um, once it's full, then I can take my action. Next to it is a limit gauge. Everything else is pretty standard, you know, HP, MP. And there's our mighty hero with his gigantic fucking sword. 
Level up. Yeah, the bombing... I, I like the bombing run because <clears throat> it has this nice little, you know, cool dramatic music going behind it, and it also very intuitively kind of teaches you how the mechanics work. Wow, you used to be a soldier, huh? Not every day you find one in a group like Avalanche. Soldier? Aren't they the enemy? What's he doing with us in Avalanche? And by the way, that should probably be pronounced AVALANCHE! Because it's all capitals, but... He was in Soldier, Jesse. But he quit and it was with us now. I didn't catch your name. As much as I want to goof around and name them f something funny and goofy, I think we're gonna, for canonical sense, we'll keep the names traditional. In the older, in the older Final Fantasy games, they didn't have character names, so we can name them whatever the fuck we want. <laughs> Clued. My name is Clued. It's a square Clued. Clued, eh? I'm don't care. <laughs> I don't care what your names are. Once this job's over. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll pronounce it as Clued. <laughs> I'll, I'll pronounce it as Clued. <laughs> oh shit, come here, Mike. He says Clued. You know, I turn into a square Clued. <laughs> I don't care what your names are. Once this job's over, I'm out of here. The hell you all doing? I thought you told I thought I told you to never move in a group. Our target's the North Mako reactor. We'll meet on the bridge in front of it. <laughs> Ex soldier, huh? I don't trust you. Barret. Mr. Beret. <laughs> I always love him. Especially like PlayStation, old, old, you know, PlayStation games where it's like, press the directional buttons while pressing the circle to run. Like, Barret's actually saying this. <laughs> it's like Metal Gear Solid playing with the idea of like, we know we're in a video game, so we're gonna tell you, press the start button. It's on your controller, and Solid Snake's just like, the start button. What are you talking about? <laughs> hey, don't run away from me. Where are you going, buddy? Ah. Uh. <laughs> Why? Wait, are you meeting me or. Oh, you're meeting Frost. Why are you meeting Frosted? Ah. Uh. Oh, more combat. Ah, oh, the music. The music in this game is so, so good. Although, I will admit, the music in, uh, in Final Fantasy VIII, I think, is better. It sounds a little less uh, chip tuny, like a little less processor. They actually tried to go for more of a, you know, instrumental and sounds more like an orchestra. Wait, what is going on with Frosted? Why is he not a- what, is, what did he do? Oh, right, I forgot about the channel points to mute Frost. <laughs> this microphone stand is pissing me off. Can't get it to work right. headed with you. I'll just... Oh my god. Oh. Fuck it. I'll leave it here. Hey. Look at these... Can't say I was, Crimson. I haven't... I haven't been on Frosted Stream in a while. In like a couple days. I was... Dead tired yesterday. Ooh, ominous music. 
these backgrounds, man. This is this is okay to go a little little nerdy. Uh, the backgrounds in PlayStation One titles, I think, held up, hold up better than old N64 games because N64 decided to use fully uh, rendered 3D worlds and 3D objects, whereas Sony went, "Hey, let's make the 3D thing and then make it." a background object, just a map painting basically, and move around it so you can have these fully rendered, fully detailed things, <laughs> and your characters and interactable objects are the only things that need to be rendered and moved. So like the door is clearly, clearly an actual 3D engine object, the background is not. Excuse me. Yo, this is your first time in a reactor? Nah. After all, I did work for Shinra, you know. The plan is full of Mako energy. People here use it every day. It's the lifeblood of this planet, but Shinra keeps sucking the blood out with these weird machines. I'm not here for a lecture. Let's just do it. Alright. You come with me from now on. And now we get our first party member. Hey, random. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. <laughs> oh God, I feel odd. It feels weird. It's just weird. Uh, so now we have Clued and Beret and our good old friend, Jesse. Oh, Jesse. Biggs and I got the code for this door. Okay. Code deciphered. I look like shit, but thanks. <laughs> Alright. Think, uh, you know, Biggs with the bandana, you should be like, think how many of our people risked our lives just for this code. Chopra. Code deciphered. Of course, over here. Hey, look! Treasure. Received the Ponyx down. Push that button over there. Boop. The elevator. Where were you, Barrett? Were you inside, Clued? Little by little, the reactors will drain out all the life. Then that'll be that. Eh, it's not my problem. The planet's dying, Clued. The only thing I care about is finishing this job before security and the robo guards come. Grrr, shake my fist at the camera. <laughs> Thank you for the host, for uh, random. <laughs> So now we've got Clued with his giant fucking sword and Beret with his gun for an arm. Fucking what? <laughs> daka 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 daka. Bum ba dum. And the almighty Gil. Which is a, another staple of all Final Fantasy games. You you get Gil, and that's your money. It's your currency. <coughs> Excuse me. These weird 
I guess they're machines? <laughs> I don't really know. Low polygons. This early game is fairly simple, just attack everything. Don't really have to strat strategize too much. Ooh, what are you doodling, Taylor? in front of a ladder to grab onto it, and then use the directional buttons to climb up and down. Potion. <gasps> Why would you do this? <laughs> Why would you do this, random? Why are you so mean? <sniffs> bum, bum, bum. Ba -da 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 -da. Nice. I hope to see it in the Discord when it's done. Oh yeah, I forgot. Cloud Cloud has magic. W machine gun. Oh yeah, I forgot I can turn that on. Let's use some magic. Bolt! Since they're machines, they're weak against electricity. Well then be mischief towards like, Crimson or someone. Don't be mischief towards me. It's mean, it hurts my feelings. Not really, I don't care. One must be able to feel in order for feelings to be hurt. Ah, the almighty save point. Save. So, we're gonna put this down here. No, we'll put it here. That first one, I was, uh... <laughs> because, Crimson, you know you like it. <laughs> Alright, so, save the game. And that, right down there, is the Mako energy that Barrett was talking about earlier. It's the lifeblood of the planet. And we're sucking it out. Hmm, it's almost like a metaphor for something in real life, like uh, some kind of dead matter of the earth being pulled out for- and nah, it's totally, totally unrelated. <laughs> bum bum. And that is the first materia you get. And materia is something that, while cool and interesting, I do feel in the f a lot of fans of this Final Fantasy series, it is something that everyone always returns to going, yeah, but the materia system was like really good and it was like the best thing. Like, it, it was good. It's not the best, but we have our restore materia. When we blow this place, it ain't gonna be nothing more than a hunk of junk. Clune, use at the bomb. Shouldn't you do it? Just do it. I gotta watch to make sure you don't pull nothing.
<laughs> now, now, children. <laughs> Fine, I'll do it. Watch out. This isn't just a reactor. <laughs> Was wrong. Huh? What's wrong, Clude? Hurry it up. Yeah, sorry. Heads up, here it comes! We'll, we'll see if he if he says the dialogue. Come on. Ooh, limit break. Alright, screw it. Since he's a robot, he's weak against lightning. Now, limits are were The limit break is one of the things that kind of became a more staple thing. Everyone's always like, what's the limit break of a character? Because there are these big over-the-top attacks. And so, Baird gets the big shot. And Cloud gets, uh... Oh, jeez. Cloud's on... Or, Baird took some fucking damage. Boom! Potion. Barret, be careful. Attack while its tail's up. It's gonna counterattack with its laser. That is a terrible... Like... When you first see it, you're like, Okay, I attack it! And then you attack, and it's like, No, he counters attack. You don't want to attack while his tail is up. <laughs> it's... It was so poorly... Uh, not really translated, but just, like, the limitations caused so many people to be confused. So now we just sit here and uh, wait it out. Alright, now we can attack it. Bravo. Search scope. <clears throat> I forget what search scope does. I think it like... Increases... Their attack percentage on you? Or their, their, like, hit chance. Wait, why did I attack with Cloud? I'm an idiot. Magic. PlayStation 1. I mean, this is a HD updated version on the PlayStation 4, but still. I mean, it looks like how I remembered it back in a ye, you know, pre -millen new millennium. Uh, the assault gun. So, Beret gets a new weapon. Come on, let's get out of here. And now... 10 minutes to detonation. We run. And yes, as you run, if you get into a fight, uh, you your timer still goes down, even in a fight. Ah, uh, back attack. So back attack is basically the enemy gets first strike. Limit, big shot. It's one of the downsides to the limit break system, is... Once someone has their limit, 
break, it takes over their attack action, so you have to use it or something other than attack. Oh yeah, we got a new weapon for for beret. Well, uh... yes, Frosted. You now know what I look like—a fat, balding, bearded man. Yep. <laughs> Hi, Frosted. <laughs> All right, going to equip beret with his new assault gun. And we're going to use potion. Don't worry, I can grind for money and get more potions later. And yes, also while you're in the menu, the uh, the timer also goes down. So the timer's constantly running. That was something else that <clears throat> a lot of people thought was so cool in this game. Not only, you know, was, was it, you know, again, a graphical upgrade from the SNES sprites, which I love sprites, but this was cool. But also, every time you change your, their weapons in the game, they actually, their weapon in combat changes. I appreciate that, Frosted, but don't let my attempts at this shit to, uh, to put stomps on your, uh, your usual schedule. Cause I'm pretty sure once I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go too far, too long on this either. But, and so when I'm done here, I'll probably come bug you if you're in VR chat. Now, this is where most people fuck up, cause you have to come help Jesse un- uh, get unstuck. Or get her unstuck. That's what I meant. My leg got stuck. Otherwise, you can't escape. Thanks. So, a lot of people would not go uh, get her and then they can't open the door. So, they'd have like five minutes left and be like, Where the fuck? How do I open the door? How do I do this? <laughs> yeah, just just like fuck you. You left me, bitch. Are you talking about yourself or the or Jesse in the game, Frosted? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh wait, no. Jesse was the one who opened the door. Code deciphered. And now Biggs. Opens this door. <laughs> I see your Alastair's there. Jesse, you clutch, let's go! So yeah, there's our heroes. A bunch of terrorists. <laughs> <laughs> that should keep the planet going. At least a little longer. Yeah! Hmm. Okay, now everyone get back.
badass combat roll. And someone with their ass on fire. All right, now let's get out of here. Rendezvous at Sector 8 Station. Split up and get on the train. Hey! If it's about your money, wait till we get back. You dick. No, not really. <clears throat> I'd go back this way, but only fire lives here now. Loveless. Hey look, it's that area from the first opening scene of the game. And the girl, I wonder who she is. Excuse me. What happened? Hmm. Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember which one. I think it's this one. Because if I say this one, yeah, I think it's this one. Nothing. Hey. Yeah, okay. Uh, don't see many flowers around here. Oh, these? Do you like them? They're only one gill. Yeah, sure. Oh, thank you. Here you are. Bye, Felicia. <sighs> yeah, I think if you tell her, <clears throat> if you do the other option of, you know, hey, you should get out of here, then she just walks away and you don't get to buy the flower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. She walks away and never see her again. Uh, if you don't buy them, you there's a dialogue option that'll pop up later that you don't get to see if you, if you don't buy it. If you don't buy a flower. Just what the hell's going on? <laughs> Wonder what that is on the wall over there. Let's see. Don't be fooled by Shinra. Mako energy doesn't last forever. Mako is the planet's life source. The end is in sight. Protectors of the planet... Avalanche. Potion. <laughs> yeah, roll credits. Hey, you there! Hey! A man is trapped in the river! <laughs> uh, later. Oh! Yeah, you can choose to fight them. You get some experience points, but I don't really need it. And you wind up in the same place anyway, so... That's as far as you go. I don't have time to mess around with you guys. Enough babbling. Grab him! Later, bitch! Look at them graphics. Cloud never came. Clued. I'm sorry. I meant to pronounce it. Clued. Clued. Think he was killed? No way. Clued. He's a square clued. <laughs> it's avalanche time. <laughs> Say, do you think Clued's gonna stay on and fight for avalanche? How the hell would I know? Do I look like a mind reader? Fuck you, box. <laughs> if y'all weren't such screw-ups. Hey, Barrett. What about our money? Fuck you, box. <laughs> uh, nothing. Sorry. Uh, wait, was that like a collective? Uh, or... What up, son? Clued! Looks like I'm a little late. Boo. <laughs> you 
you're damn right. <laughs> you're late. Come waltzing in here, making a big scene. It's no big scene. Just what I always do. Fuck. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It should be parentheses star carrot percentage exclamation point. Have everyone worried like that? You don't give a damn about no one but yourself. Hmm. You were worried about me? <laughs> I kind of imagine that's more of like a, hmm, wait, y y you were worried about me? <laughs> what? That's coming out of your share, hot shot. Fuck off. Wake up. <laughs> we're moving out. Follow me. Wake up, buttercup. Hey, Clued. You were great back there. Yeah, Clued. We'll do even better next time. Careful. I'll shut this. Ah, oh, yes. The respectable, the mindful one. Oh, Clued. Your p face is pitch black. There you go. Say, thanks for helping me back there at the reactor. Hey, I don't think there's anything in here. Specifically designed for one scene and one scene only. Last train out of Sector 8 station. Last stop is Sector 7, train graveyard. Expected time of arrival is 12.23 a.m. Midgard Standard Time. Oh man, this music. This is why I hate the last train. Oh boy. The fuck do you say, motherfucker? Huh? Hey, my house. Make yourselves at home. Uh, see the headlines on Shinrin Times? Terrorists that bombed the number one reactor are based somewhere in the slums. Blowing up a reactor. They sure put some thought into this one. They must have a real calculating leader. I wonder what they'll do next. That just boosted Barrett's ego. Stop acting like a damn kid. Sit down and shut up. I'm clued, you can't tell me what to do. <laughs> Cause I'm not, you know, going at 90 miles a minute <laughs> like Frosted is. <laughs> Plus, I I'm nervous as fuck. I'm, I'm not used to doing stuff like this. Mm. Oh wait, this is Biggs. <clears throat> this train hasn't switched to security mode yet. I'm sure that will change by tomorrow. Someday Avalanche is gonna be famous. Me too. And how did you get that bomb on here, Bread Fox? Also, thank you for the follow. I think that's what that was. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, p please don't bother the other passengers. Let me talk to Jesse. Wanna talk to Jesse? There we go. Hey, Clude. You wanna take a look at this with me? <laughs> wow, random. Really, really easy to jump on the bandwagon with you, huh? Oh, thank you, Rooney, for. Or, uh, Runel? Runny? <laughs> Seven. We'll call you Seven. I'm terrible at names. It's a map of the Midgar rail system. Let's look at it together. I'll explain it to you. I like this kind of stuff. Bombs and monitors. You know, flashy stuff. Okay, it's about to start. Down in front! This is a complete model of the city of Midgar. It's about a one one or one ten thousandth scale. The top plate is about 50 meters above the ground. 
A main pillar supports the plate in the center, and there are other support pillars built in each section. <clears throat> whisper, whisper. The number one reactor we blew up was in the northern section. Then there's number two, number three, all the way up to the number eight reactor. The eight reactors provide Midgar with electricity. <sighs> uh, excuse me. Each town used to have a name, but no one in Midgar remembers them. Instead of names, we refer to them by numbered sectors. That's how things turned out. Phew, look what's next, look! This is the route the train is on. The route spirals around the main pillar, which will be coming around the center right now. Each checkpoint has an ID sensor device. It checks the identities and backgrounds of each passenger on the train and is linked up to the central data bank at, <laughs> at Shenra headquarters. We definitely look suspicious, so we're using fake IDs. Really? Your 90s headbands don't give it away? Speak of the devil. That light means that we're in the ID security check area. When the lights go off, you never know what kind of creeps will come out. We're almost back now. What a relief. Are you calling us creeps? I think she called us creeps. Are we creeps? Creepy ain't a crime. I know. Next time, I'll make one just for you. Looking forward to it. Okay, then I'll put a little extra effort in and make it with a bang. I think that's gonna fuck us over in the future, but sure. I'm seeing stars. This sucks. I hate the dark. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. Don't act so damn big. Barrett's news. Look, you can see the surface now. This city don't have no day or night. If that plate weren't there, we could see the sky. A floating city. Pretty unsettling scenery. Huh? Never expect to hear that as someone like you. <clears throat> you just full of surprises. The upper world. A city on a plate. It's because of that fucking pizza that people underneath are suffering. And the city below is full of polluted air. Preach, Barrett. Preach. On top of that, the reactor keeps draining up all the energy. <laughs> nice emotes, Mike. Although that's kind of a spoiler. Shh. But I appreciate it. Then why doesn't everyone move onto the plate? Dunno. Probably cause they ain't got no money. Or maybe... Cause they love their land, no matter how polluted it gets. I know. No one lives in the slums because they want to. It's like this train. It can't run anywhere except where its rails take it. And more, <clears throat> see, I also remember when this was in the era when it was Squaresoft and uh, Blizzard were the huge competitors for who could make the most amazing visual cut and CG cutscenes in a video game. And it was always a contest between Square and Blizzard. Now, not so much, but you know, you can really see like, okay, Square did this, and then later you see, well, Blizzard did this, and then it's like, okay, so Square's like, challenge accepted, motherfuckers, let's go. <laughs> Yo. Yo, get over here, all y'all. Yes, a kid just fell <laughs> flat on his fucking face. <laughs> and yes, Bread, we get it, you have a bomb. This mission was a success, but don't get lazy now. The hard part's still to come. Don't y'all be scared of that explosion. Did somebody say explosions? Cause the next one's gonna be bigger than that. Meet back at the hideout. Move out! Oh, I have control.
Bow chicka bow wow. Alright. And so, here's a great little scene where... <clears throat> hey now, oops. What on earth are you doing? Just butt out, jeez, huh? You came to see it too? There was a bombing on top of this, on top. If this pillar should come down, everyone in the slums is dust. Well, there's no point in worrying about that. Hey, check it out. It's huge, ain't it? So the, the main support pillar that Jesse was talking about earlier, this is what she was talking about. So this is the Sector 7 support pillar. So it's a nice little, like, uh... Hey, we talked about this thing, and then later on, you don't even have to talk to this guy. But you can kind of deviate from the path and be like, Hey, look, here's this thing I was just mentioning earlier. It's pretty cool. Hey, this is a strange and wonderful place. This is my place, but you can come here when you want. See ya, bro. I ain't your bro, fam. <laughs> Yo, Cloud, over here now. We're gonna save real quick. I will admit, I am a saving whore. I love to save a lot. Yay, no, no more student loans for you, Talon. Congratulations. Oh wait, or is that more because you got blown up? Because of Bread Fox. Which one is it? Tejas Cowboy Saloon. <laughs> Did you hear? <laughs> Did you know? No, what? There's a news update. They say that there was a terrorist explosion up above and that this time it was a Mako reactor. You know what this means? Don't care, actually. No, what? Yeah, I wish I was done with my student loans as well. You see, I keep on top of these things. And if you ask me, if you knock out Midgar's power, then all of its computers and signals are going to be knocked out too. Financially, there must have been about a billion gil worth of damage. And that ain't all. A lot of innocent people got killed too. If the explosion had been in the middle of the night, that would have been one thing. At least the people could have gone in their sleep. Well, that wasn't... dark and ominous and morbid. This kid is awfully happy. <laughs> explosions! Explosions! Oh man, it is so cool! Aw, oh, fuck! The hell's wrong tonight? I thought that long blackout was strange. They say a Mako reactor was destroyed above. I was just sitting here drinking, watching the news by myself. And all of a sudden, I get the kick the fuck out of, kicked out of the fucking store. What's up with that? <coughs> Excuse me. I just love the mama cackle. This is the best. Hey, so you keep up on you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that kid. <laughs> yeah. That super excited kid about explosions is Bread Fox. <laughs> Fucking McRib. <laughs> uh, Bread, usually countdowns go backwards. <laughs> Thank you, Taylor. <laughs> Unless you're doing the Beatles, you know. One, two, three, four. Can I have a little more? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I love you. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> okay, go on ahead. Papa. Marlene, aren't you going to say anything to Clude? Welcome home, Clude. Looks like everything went well. 
Did you fight with Barrett? Uh, so, okay. <laughs> this line is a little confusing. Because <clears throat> when she says, did you fight with Barrett? You would think she means like, did you get into an argument with him? But I believe what it's actually supposed to be is, did you get to fight alongside Barrett? So, yeah, we did. I should have known. He's always pushing people. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, I was wrong. He's always pushing people around and you've always been in fights ever since you were little. I was worried. I don't know what kind of voice to give Tiffa. Tiffa's got, you know, nice, big personality. <laughs> flowers? How nice. So this is the scene that if you didn't buy the flowers, you don't get to... <clears throat> you don't get this dialogue option. You almost never see them here in the slums. But... A flower for me? Oh, Clued. Oh, Clued. You shouldn't have. <laughs> yes. Yes, a great IRL streamer, Frosted. <laughs> She's got huge tracts of land. <laughs> uh, so, we give it to Tifa. Then... There's like, there's, there's a hidden, uh, tally in the background of the game and certain answers and actions can, you know, increase or decrease this tally. If you give it to Tifa, her counter will go up for an, an event later on. If you give it to Marlene, Barrett's counter will go up instead. And I don't know which one I want. Do I want to go for the one that I would prefer? Or do I want to go for the one that would be fucking hilarious as hell? <laughs> hmm. Tell you what, since there's quite a few people in the chat, why don't you guys decide? Who should I give it to? Tifa or Marlene? <laughs> All right, if I play, if I. <laughs> okay, so we've got one for the funny as hell. Ah, stupid microphone. All right, we'll go for the funny as hell. I'll have to play it right. I'll have to. <laughs> well, okay, we'll we'll do to Marlene because that's the one that if I if I make certain choices later on should lead us to something funny. Wait, Biggs was... Ah, nothing like that first drink after a job. <laughs> Why don't you have one too? Uh, not yet. What? You telling me you're too good to drink with me? Sorry, Talon. There were two two votes for the uh, for Marlene. Did I big headed just because you were in soldier? <laughs> Look out! We got a badass over here. Ah! Oh, don't tell Barrett what I just said. Oh wait, what's up? Thanks. Hey, Wedge! You're getting all excited. Stop making such a mess. No, I want to talk to... There we go. Uh, uh Clued. Tifa really knows how to cook. Hmm. Anyway, let me tell you something interesting. About... Tifa always lets me taste her cooking. Look at me now. I'm roly-poly. <laughs> Don't know whether I should be happy or sad, but it's the good food and drinks that make this shop famous. I don't know what the hell's going on with his voice. Sorry. He's roly poly -oly. He's short and fat and round. Papa, welcome home. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Huh? Where'd you get that flower? 
Clued gave it to me. Oh. Did you thank him? Thank you, Clued. We'll take care of you. Whoa. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll take care of you. <laughs> yeah, Taylor and I. I used to watch that show because I, my mom used to babysit some of the neighbor kids and they would watch it all the time and before I went to school and so I'd sit and watch Roly Polioli with them. You alright, Barrett? Great! They are great! Get in here, fools. We're starting the meeting. When you say the other one, Bread, who do you mean by the other one? All right, so before we head down here, we're gonna have a nice little chat with uh, Tifa. <laughs> Sit down, bitch. Okay. How about something to drink? Give me something hard. Just a minute, I'll make one for you. Uh, <clears throat> we'll, we'll, uh, we'll come to that when we meet that individual, Bread. Um, I personally have my own choice, but like I said, since I'm doing this for an audience, might as well have the audience pick. You know, I'm relieved you made it back safely. What's with you all of a sudden? That job wasn't even tough. I guess not. You were in soldier. Bitch. Make sure you get your pay from Beret. Don't worry. Uh, once I get that money, I'm out of here. Clued. Clued, are you feeling all right? Yeah, why? No reason. You just look a little tired, I guess. And you look hot. All polygonal and shit. Pretty sure with all these uh, edges on these people, they got some sharp wit. I'm sorry. That was bad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oops. Hey, look at the news. <laughs> what a blast. Think it was all because of my bomb? But all I really did was just make it like the computer told me. Oh no. I must have made a miscalculation somewhere. Today, the number one reactor was bombed. The terrorist group Avalanche has claimed responsibility for the bombing. It is expected that Avalanche will continue its reign of terror. But citizens of Midgar, there is no need to fear. I have immediately mobilized soldier to protect our citizenry against this senseless violence. Thank you and good night. Yo, Cloud. Clued. Sorry. There's something I want to ask you. Was there anyone from soldier fighting us today? None. I'm positive. You say I'm pretty sure. If there was anyone from a soldier, you wouldn't be standing there here now. Don't go thinking you so bad just because you was in soldier. Thank you for the follow, Bread Fox. Hmm. Ooh. <laughs> like a bitch. Yeah, you're strong. Probably all them guys and soldiers are. But don't forget that your skinny ass is working for Avalanche now. Don't get no ideas about hanging with not under Shinra. Staying with Shinra? <laughs> you asked me a question and I answered it. That's all. <laughs> I'm going upstairs. I want to talk about my money. Shucks, money. Papa, you're so great. Wait, Clued. Tifa, let him go. Looks like he still misses the Shinra. The Shinra, that's like, that's like when your grandparents call it the Google. <laughs> I'm gonna look it up on the Google. Shut up. I don't care about neither Shinra nor Soldier. But don't get me wrong. I don't care about Avalanche or the planet for that matter. Wait, strain things up. 
Thank you for the... Yeah, thank you for the host, Red Fox. Straighten things up with everyone for me. Wait, is Tifa asking to straighten things up? Or is Cloud asking? What? I don't... Whatever. <clears throat> Screw you guys, I'm gonna go play pinball. Listen, Clude, I'm asking you, please join us. Sorry, Tifa. The planet is dying. Slowly but surely, it's dying. Someone has to do something. So let Baron and his buddies do something about it. It's got nothing to do with me. So, you're really leaving? You're just gonna walk right out, ignoring your childhood friend. What? How dare you? <clears throat> I'm trying to remember which one is the one I want. I think it's this one. You forgot the promise too. Promise? So you did forget. Remember Clude? It was seven years ago. Clude. No Clude. He's a square clued. Look, the well. Do you remember? <clears throat> well, I am trying, so... Yeah, back then. I thought you would never come, and I was getting a little cold. I'm a cold clued. Sorry, I'm late. Theme of childhood plays in the background. You said you wanted to talk to me about something? Come this spring, I'm leaving town for Midgar. All the boys are leaving town. But I'm different from them. I'm not just going to find a job. A gerb. You took your gerbs. I want a joint soldier. I'm going to be the best there is, just like Sephiroth. I'm pretty sure a lot of people know who that name is already. Sephiroth? The great Sephiroth? Ooh. Ooh, look at him all high and mighty with his great Zephyra. How much fucking gel does that kid use in his hair to get it that spiky? Isn't it hard to join soldier? I probably won't be able to come back to this town for a while. Huh? If you make it, will you be in the newspapers? I'll try. Not with that attitude. <clears throat> hey, let's make a promise. Um, if you get really famous and I'm ever in a bind, you'll come save me, alright? What? What? If I'm ever in trouble, my hero will come and rescue me. I want to experience that at least once. Nani? Come on, promise me. All right, I promise. <laughs> you remember now, don't you? Our promise. Not a fucking clue. <laughs> I'm not a hero, and I'm not famous, so I can't keep our promise. But you got your childhood dream, didn't you? You joined Soldier. So come on, you've got to keep your promise. But you're not in a bind. Wait a sec, big time Soldier. A promise is a promise, yeah. 
Barrett's stash of 1,500 gil. This is my pay? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. What? Then you'll... You got the next mission lined up? I'll do it for, for three... Bleh, I'll do it for 3,000. What? It's okay, it's okay. Psst. We're really hurting for Pete for help, right? Okay. That money's from Marlene's schooling. Man, Cloud's kind of a dick. Two th two thousand. Thanks, Cloud. Thanks, Clude. Bum, bum, ba, da, bum, ba. Oh, man, this song. <laughs> All this music. Here, here's how much of a nerd and kind of fan of the Final Fantasy series I am. I have the complete soundtrack for Final Fantasy 7, 8, 9, 10, and a couple songs from 10, 2, and I think I have 12. I think I have 12 as well. But 12, but like, like they're four disc OSTs, and I have all of those, and they're on my phone <laughs> for me to listen to at any point. <laughs> Good morning, Clude. Did you sleep well? <laughs> Barrett snoring kept me up? Or oh, uh, next to you, who wouldn't? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. I'm going this time. Yes! Get best waifu in the party. Yeah, I've heard a couple songs from the Xenosaga series. I've never actually, I've never played Xenosaga or Xenogears, but I've heard, I've, you know, heard they're really good and I've heard some songs from those series and they're really cool. <laughs> yeah, every, every, Everybody has that one one series of games that's like, this is mine, this is me, this represents me. I think between this, the Final Fantasy series and the Devil May Cry series, I think those those ones like really are like me. Sir Galvanium, thank you for the follow. This is weird. This is really weird. <laughs> All right, Tifa, you're joining us. And let's put the eight-year-old behind the bar serving drinks, alcoholic drinks to people. Cool. Yeah, I think Xenogears was a Dreamcast exclusive, and that was the one console that I never really owned. I mean, I owned it for like a couple months before it was taken away. Excuse me. Our target's the Sector 5 Reactor. Head for the station first. I don't... Excuse me, I lost Barrett's voice. What the fuck? I'll find you in the... Find you... I'll, I'll, I'll find you in on the train. Oh, I'll fill you in. I am... Blind and tired. Fuck. Yo, Cloud. Clued. Before the next mission, I got something I want to ask you. Uh... I don't really know how to use materia. I'll give you the materia we found. Just teach me how to use it. <sighs> okay, I'll explain it or you wouldn't understand. <clears throat> yeah, since we're kind of playing this to as a tutorial or, or as a show people the game, we'll actually go through the tutorials. Sure, I'll explain how materia works. First, access the menu. You know the basic functions. Press triangle button to bring up the menu. Directional buttons move the cursor. By the way, I'm not I'm not doing any of this. Like this. Oh shit, I totally missed that. If you want to leave the menu, press circle button. <clears throat> See? Let's go ahead. Now you're in this menu. Shit, I keep skipping stuff and I don't mean to. 
Select materia, select who you want to use it. Now look at my weapon here. Each weapon and armor has slots in it. Choose which slot you want to put materia in. Now select the materia you want to use. Because you have so many options. This is curative materia. If you want to know what its effect is, line the cursor up with the check with the check in the menu and press the cross button. They mean the X button. It's just like selecting battle commands. Just line up the cursor up to magic <clears throat> and you can see that the available magic has increased. Now you can use new magic cure. And that's all there is to equipping materia. See, it wasn't that tough. When you want to remove any materia, it's as easy as pointing at the materia slot and pressing the triangle button. There's just one thing you have to be careful of. Whenever you equip materia, your situation changes. <sighs> situation, not stats. Parts of you may become stronger, i.e. magic plus one, max MP plus 2%. While others get weaker, strength minus one, max HP minus 2%. Normally when you equip magic materia, your magic power will get stronger and your physical strength will weaken. So materia is kind of a double-edged sword. Not like my big badass sword of bludgeoning that cloud wields. On the left side of the screen, you can see the materia's effect on you. It's wise not to overuse magic materia but try out various things. Press circle button to exit the submenu, and then circle button again to exit the menu. Give us advanced tips later, but we don't really care. Shit. What's this? It wasn't that tough crap. I don't get it. You just handled the materia, Clude. Cool. Yeah, I can. Clude. I got a message from the weapon shop man upstairs. He says he's something he wants to give you. Oh, he has something he wants to give you. Don't forget. Marlene, you watch the store while we're gone. All right, good luck. <clears throat> like I said, let's put the eight-year-old in charge of a fully stocked bar. Cause that's smart. All right, who's getting the materia? All right, Clued has lightning and ice. Who do I want to be our healer? Uh, okay. Clued, we'll get rid of ice magic and give you restore. Barret will give you ice magic, and Tifa will get nothing so far. <laughs> Alright. Is there anything else? Nope. Okay. Bum ba da ba da. Bum bum ba da bum ba. I come over here and talk to them. Ah, another slow day. If this keeps up, this store's going under. Can't sell any real good, really good medicine in a slum like this. Oh, look at this. It doesn't happen every day. Are you a customer? Yes, welcome. We sell, we buy. All right, so buy some potions because I'm out. Uh, we'll just do 10. That should be good. And then, hey, look, the, ma the materia that I have, I can buy more. Uh, we'll buy some fire materia. Yeah, we'll, we'll just buy the fire materia and give that to Tifa. He'll forget about it. Oh, you! Give my friend on the second floor to teach you. Teach me what? You dried up old geese. You tired? Why don't you rest up on the third floor of my house? There's just one condition. You gotta give me some cash. Uh, no, I'm good, thanks. Cheap motherfucker. Actually, it's probably cheap ass. 
Hey, wait a minute, you. You can't just walk out of here without buying something. Might be unhealthy for you, if you know what I mean. Are you threatening me, sir? I would like to talk to your manager. All right, assault gun. I already got that. This is an item that you can use in battle. It's a one-time use that explodes and damages an opponent. Which, I'm pretty sure there's some glitch or bug you can do that like makes this extremely powerful, but I'm not gonna do it. Uh, we need three of these. Actually, four of these. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I'm. Your language is a little threatening. I would like to talk to your manager. <laughs> do you know who I am? <laughs> okay, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Who's supposed to be watching the door? Ashley Kachadorian? Ashley Kachadorian's in charge of snacks. Oh. Who the fuck's in charge of the door? Alright. This is a tutorial area that'll teach you all manner of things about the game, but it's really long drawn out and I don't feel like doing it, so I'll explain it as we get to it. But I just came in here to save the game. So, okay, so I briefly touched on limit breaks early, but we'll... we'll talk about them a little more in depth here and why I may use the super speed cheat and I may cheat off off stream to get to unlock some of them so each character has four levels of limit breaks each level the first three levels have two limit breaks and how you unlock more limit breaks is the first one in the set so for cloud it's braver for uh, Barrett, it's big shot and Tifa, it's Beat Rush. <clears throat> if you use the limit break a set number of t times, which for each character is a different number of times, you unlock the second limit break in that level. Then you have to defeat a number of enemies in battle. That character has to get the killing blow on a set number of enemies to then unlock the next actual level of limit breaks. To which then they will have to use that limit break so many times to unlock the next one, and then beat so many more enemies to unlock the third one, and then the final one you have to find a special item to unlock it. So, some of the most of the characters, because they're combat heavy characters, unlocking their limit breaks it just naturally happens. One character in particular is a pain in the ass to get killing blows with, and so it's really hard to unlock her limit breaks. So she may be the one who I may do like a little cheat system of max HP and super speed and do all kinds of crazy stuff and grind up like crazy to unlock her limit breaks. It's annoying, but she's got some pretty powerful ones. But that's how the, the limit break system works. Was that a materia in front of this dude? I want that materia. Ah, the all materia. That was materia. Next, take this treasure chest. I forgot this guy gives you stuff. Shit. Ether. Now listen, hidden in these treasure chests are a lot of items. There are box types and bag types, so make sure you don't overlook any. Yeah. Alright, so the all materia. This is... okay. Oh, shit. I forgot I bought... Iron bangle, iron bangle, iron bangle. Okay. Who do I- okay. So, these are magic materia. They cast spells, but they're single target spells. Now, if you'll notice, on this weapon, the two little, little materia slots have this little bridge between the two. That means that they connect. So if you have certain other materia in that's in a slot, it'll do certain effects. So right now he can cast lightning and restore and he targets a single person. The all materia, however, if it's paired with a spell 
and you cast that spell, it'll cast it on all of either your, if it's a, like restore, you can do cure all and it'll cast it on everybody in your party. Or if it's an attack spell like lightning, it'll do lightning spell on all enemies. The downside to it is that number of stars is what level it is. And however many stars you have depends on how many times in a com in a single round of combat or single battle the all material will work. So for now, it'll only do it once. But if I level it up and get it to two, then I can do it twice before I can only do single targets and so on and so forth. So it's, it's a very interesting system of like... Um, making you think about your materia combinations because all doesn't do anything else except cast uh, let you cast something on all of someone so we're gonna do so now the question is do I want lightning do I want to attack enemies with all or do I want to heal enemies with all because healing all would be really good if my entire party gets their ass handed to them and I have to cure everybody or do I want to be able to kill everything? Ah, shit. I think for now, for now, we'll just do lightning all. And after every battle, you get experience points and then you get AP or ability points, which goes into the materia, which helps it level up. And as you can see, AP and then to next level <clears throat> and certain materia like the lightning and the cure or restore. As you increase its level, you'll unlock new, more powerful spells. And then if you get all five stars or max stars on a materia, it'll duplicate itself and create a level one of that spell. So another way to people grind is they just go to an area and fight enemies that have that give a lot of AP and just throw whatever materia they want on them and then just start grinding and getting the experience and or the AP and then just duplicating materia until they have a shit ton and then a lot of times they'll sell them because I know I know all materia a level five all materia sells for like I want to say like 500,000 gil or some shit like if you sell one you can you'll be set for life <laughs> it's pretty nuts the way people break this game all right, so we've got our materia, we've got our all. It's a good thing I went up there and got that. I totally forgot about it. <sighs> and now we're gonna go blow up another reactor. I think, yeah, because we've been, yeah, I think after, uh, after we blow up the next reactor, I'll probably, in the stream because I started a little later than expected and I don't want to go too far too long because I gotta I want to go bug some people with some stuff all right so let's go blow up the reactor and here's the three stooges we jump on the train and we go blow up a reactor Yo, this ain't no private car, so split up! Hoodlums, again. God, don't I just have all the luck. You say something? I said, you say something. Now look at that. It got empty all of a sudden. What's going on? Damn! It's empty because of guys like you! Yay! You, you've seen the news, right? Avalanche says there will be more bombings. Only devoted employees like me would go to Midgar on a day like today. You work for Shinra? How dare you? I won't give in to violence and... Beret! Fuck! You lucky son of a bitch. So, what are we gonna do now? 
shit. The hell you so calm? You're busting up my rhythm. Feel the rhythm, feel the rhyme. Looks like they just finished connecting the cars. We're finally leaving. <laughs> Excuse me. So, what's our next target? Ha! <laughs> Listen to Mr. Serious about his work. Alright, I'll tell you. Jesse's probably already told you, but there's a security checkpoint at the top plate. It's an ID scan system checking all the trains. Which Shenra is very proud of. <clears throat> we can't use our fake IDs anymore. Good morning, and welcome to Midgar Lines. Arrival time at Sector 4 Station is 11.45. That means we've got only three more minutes to the che ID checkpoint. Alright, in three minutes we're jumping off this train. Got it? Clued, come over here. Let's look at the railway map monitor. Yoink. Yo, Mr. Know-It-All Big Time Soldier. You ought to know the area around the number five reactor, right? <laughs> Sounds like a death sentence. <laughs> Your end shall come in about four minutes and 37 seconds. Shit. <laughs> So let's hear your explanation. Oh, he just repeats. Okay. What up, girl? Hmm, it's, it looks like you've already seen this. It's alright. Come a little closer. That's odd. The ID checkpoint was supposed to be further down. Type A security alert. Unidentified passengers confirmed. A search of all cars will be conducted. Repeat. Type A security alert. Unidentified passengers confirmed. A search of all cars will be conducted. What's happening? What's going on? We're in trouble. I'll explain later. Hurry and get to the next car. Shit, someone blew it. Unidentified passengers located in car number one. Preparing for lockdown. Let's go. Keep it up. 15 seconds! Car number one locked down, upgrading to level two warning. Hurry! They're locking the door, sir! Unidentified passengers located in car number two. Just run! Changing to plan two! Let's go! Now, yes, you can stop and uh, talk to those people, but uh, you have a counter and it will go down. <laughs> car number two locked down, upgrading to warning level three. All right, we clear? Not yet. They're starting another check. If we're caught, we're done for. But don't worry. If we move up the train car by car, we should get past it. Hey, let me through, fat ass. Unidentified passengers moving to front of train. Currently tracking location. Excuse me. Yeah, I know. He stole my shit. I don't fucking care. I gotta move. Car number three locked down. Upgrading to warning level four. Car number four locked down, upgrading to maximum security alert. Let me pass, Tifa. All right, we all right, we made it. Yo, this way. Let's go, we're gonna dive out of here. Scary, huh? Eh. Too late for that now. Why'd you come along anyway? Because... Now's not the time to be flirtatious, bitch! Let's go! Hey, you two! There ain't no time for that! Yeah, I've made up my mind. Watch closely, I'm gonna jump! You don't care if I go first? Alita always stays to the end. Don't worry about me, just go! Yo, don't go getting those, your spiky ass hurt. It's only the beginning of the mission. Whatevs. Later, you take care of the rest. In case you didn't know, those three are the three stooges, Biggs, Wedge, and Jesse. Good. So far, everything's going as planned. 
Don't let your guard down till we get to the Sector 5 reactor. Biggs, Wedge, and Jesse got everything ready for us, so move it! The reactor's just down this tunnel. And I think there's something this way. Nope. I think there's something there, but I don't feel like running towards it. Oh look, combat. Now we get to see Punch Girl. Ooh, bring up to strike. So, nope, I want magic. So here is what the all materia does. Now I can attack all of them at once. Like a boss. Now, fortunately, those four kills with that magic spell does count towards the limit break kill total. But I don't think the kill total count starts until I get the next limit break for Cloud. Alright. Those light beams are the Shinra security sensors. We can't go any further. But we can go here. There's one damn tiny hole. You telling me to squeeze into that to get under the plate? <laughs> no way. Yo, Cloud, what are we gonna do? We're going down, baby. But, damn, man, that thing gives me the chills. Yoink. And a fight. All materia just makes a lot of these early fights non-existent. <laughs> but hey, it's free experience points. Alright, we received ether, so ether restores your magic power, your MP. Yeah, potions heal health, ethers heal MP. Of course, when I was a kid growing up in the Excuse me, my dad was in the military, and so anytime I heard MP, I always thought of military police and not magic power or magic points. I know there's secret items around here somewhere. Hey, look, there's Wedge. Be -we -be The ID scan problem on the train was all my fault. I modified your ID card, and that's what did it. I did my best, but I failed. Eh, don't beat yourself up about it. Received potion. Uh... <laughs> Ooh, pincer attack. Attack from both sides. I should probably... Yeah, let's turn on the uh, assister. Uh, assist. <laughs> this tells you... <clears throat> Cast spell, attack with weapon, and it tells you enemy names. Oh, Punch Girl, she goes first. Nice. So, here's the other thing about all. If you're in a pincher maneuver like this, all will only work on one group of enemies. It doesn't work on everybody. So. Come on, Clude. Wait, if that that leads there, where does the uh, other one lead to? I forget. It's been a hot minute. If I want to, I can go into no encounter mode for this version. Uh, 
Oh, that's a save. I think this is progress. Yep, this is progress. Uh, okay, so tents are an item that you can use that restores health and MP. They can only be used as save points or on the overworld map, which we don't won't see for a bit. Uh, I don't feel like going back and talking to Biggs or Wedge. It takes too long. Sorry, Wedge. We're not talking to you. We're gonna pull out now. We'll meet up at the hideout. Clued, we're counting on you to blow up the reactor. Alright, I'm gonna go blow up the reactor. And we're inside the reactor. Looks very similar to the other reactor, but with a blue tint. It's blue for blue cludes. Oh, these guys. Ah, punch girl. Shooting man. Lightning! Ah, oh, poison. Fuck. I hate poison. Final Fantasy fanfare. <laughs> ah, song so good. Bolt. Shooty boy. Or shooty man. Oh geez, they're all <clears throat> really tough. Piece of cake, piece of crumb cake. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so, I could use potions to heal everybody, or I could go here to Mr. Clude and use cure and cure everybody. I'd use more MP than I expected. I use an ether to get that back. You saw nothing, nothing happened. No items were used. Understood? Alright. Um, um. Now we're gonna ignore the safe spot because reasons. Now we're at the bomb, or the silly. Oh no, and what is this headache again? Nani? Papa. Oh, Papa. Oh, why are we going to the middle of the lake, Papa? Why are you putting on a life vest, Papa? <laughs> Sephiroth? There's that name again. Did Sephiroth do this to you? Sephiroth. Soldier, Mako reactors, Shinra. I hate them all. <laughs> Would that get a little too dark for you, Talon? Damn, man, get a hold of yourself. You all right, Tifa? Hmm. No. Forget. Come on, let's hurry. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. 
So this time we plant a bomb and there's no boss fight. Hmm. A little skeptical. Uh, we're just gonna attack, attack, attack. You bitch. Oh my god, seriously? Alright, fire. Let's do fire on this guy. And attack. And Barrett will get to use magic as well. We'll use some uh, ice magic. Okay, I think they're weak to ice. Weak-ish to ice. They're also weak against sword punches and guns, so that works. Antidote, yes. Cures poison. It's good. Hmm, blue Mako. All right, now we're gonna save here. Because reasons. Lots of ladder climbing. Final Fantasy VII, climbing them ladders. And fights. I could just run away from these if I wanted to. But I want the experience. Bolt. Gotta level up. God damn. Hey. Ooh, deadly waste. What is that? What is deadly waste? I don't remember. Oh! It's an item that casts poison too. Cool. I never knew that those guys dropped that. My luck percentage must be pretty high for that. Received ether. <clears throat> Ooh, these guys are red. These are machines, by the way. They're they're robots. They're not people in costumes or outfits. I'm gonna save his uh, his uh, limit break. Shit, she has one too. Crap. Please kill them all in one hit, Cloud. Please, Clude. Yes! Okay. They have limit breaks, which are awesome. Guys, we want to hold on to those. So a limit, your limit gauge goes up <clears throat> depending upon how much damage you take in a fight. I think you're a, if you attack, it'll increase it as well, but I don't think it increases as much as if you take damage. It's kind of like a, you know, I'm on my last limit, uh, final attack kind of thing. Jesse said we all have to push the button at once. No good. Let's try it again. Too soon. Can't even... There we go. Are you fucking kidding me? Too soon. 
There we go. I hate that puzzle. <clears throat> There's a lot of like little timing puzzles in this that don't really give you anything to say. Hey, here's your here's your beat. Okay, beep, 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 go. Oh, I forgot there was a save spot here. I didn't need to save earlier. We're gonna save again. Notice there's no timer for this bomb. This way. <clears throat> oh shit. Shinra soldiers. Shit. What the hell's going on? A trap. What, like fizzy or fur trap? Never mind. Huh? <laughs> President Shinra? Why is the president here? Hmm. So you all must be. What was it? Avalanche. And don't you forget it. So you're President Shinra, huh? Long time no see, sir. Long time no see. Oh, <laughs> you. You're the one who quit soldier and joined Avalanche. I knew you'd been exposed to Mako from the look in your eyes. Tell me, traitor, what was your name? Clude. My name is Clude. Forgive me for asking, but I can't be expected to remember everyone's name. Unless you become another Sephiroth. Ah, uh, Sephiroth. He was brilliant. Perhaps too brilliant. Sephiroth? Don't give a damn about none of that. This place is gonna go up in a big bang soon. Serves y'all right. And such a waste of good fireworks. Just to get rid of vermin like you. Vermin? That all you can say? Vermin? Shinra the vermin for killing the planet. Guess I'd make you king, vermin. You shut up. So shut up, jackass. You are beginning to bore me. I'm a very busy man, so if you'll excuse me. I have a dinner I must attend. Dinner? Don't give that. Don't give me that. I ain't even started with you yet. But I've made arrangements for a playmate for you all. What's that noise? The hell is that? Meet Airbuster, a techno soldier. Our weapon development department created him. I'm sure the data he'll extract from your dead bodies will be of great use to us in the f our future experiments. Techno soldier? <coughs> excuse me. Now then, if you'll excuse me. Wait, President. President Armstrong. Yo, Cloud, we've got to do something about him. Help, Clude. This is from Soldier? No way. It's just a machine. I don't care what it is. I'm going to bust him up. You go, shoot man. Alright, let's use those limit breaks. Program operate one operation a big bomba. And guess what? He's a robot, so he's weak against lightning. Yeah! So Tifa's limit break is a slot machine. You got yeah, hit, or miss. If you get miss, she doesn't do her attack. Yeah, punch girl. Counterattack. Crap, I forgot about that. Morta. Ooh, that, 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 that's painful. Limit break. 
shit. I need to use it on Clude. Clude's gonna die. Crap. Clude's gonna die. Uh, Barrett. You need to cure some people. Ah, shit. I forgot. Potion only heals for 100. Ah, crap. I didn't use magic. Damn it. Clude. Don't die, Clude. Big Bulma Tifa Yeah, yeah. Cure magic on himself. Big Bomber is a bitch. Ah, Big Bomber's out of ammo. So I think that means he doesn't counter attack. But he can reload. Battle's over. Never mind. That was a fast fight. I forgot how quick that boss battle is. Woo, everybody leveled up. Titan Bangle! <coughs> oh my god. It's gonna blow! Let's go, Tifa! Barret, can't you do something? Not a damn thing. Clued, please don't die. You can't die. There's still so much I want to tell you. I know, Tifa. Hey, you gonna be alright? I'm gonna be strong. Hmm. You worry about yourselves. I'm alright, but take care of Tifa. Alright. Sorry about all this. Stop talking like this is the end. Okay, hold on. <gasps> oh my god, no, Clude. That one didn't explode as much as that last, as that first one. Are you alright? Can you hear me? Yeah. Back then. I only got scraped knees. What do you mean by back then? What about now? Can you get up? What do you mean by back then? What about now? Don't worry about me. Worry about yourself now. I'll try. Oh, it moved. How about that? Take it slow now. Little by little. Hello? Hello? I know. Hey, who are you? Hello, hello. Hey, look, it's the flower girl. You okay? This is a church in the Sector 5 slums. <clears throat> you just fell from above. You really gave me a scare. I came crashing down. The roof and the flower bed must have broken your fall. You're lucky. Flower bed? Is this yours? Sorry about that. That's alright. The flowers here are quite resilient because this is a sacred place. They say grass and flowers won't grow in Midgar. But for some reason, they have no trouble blooming here. I love it here. I love lamp. So, we meet again. Don't you remember me? Never saw you before. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. 
Yeah, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> You're the slum drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you totally get shit faced every night. <laughs> you were selling flowers. Oh, I'm so happy. Thanks for buying my flowers. Say, do you have any materia? Hell yeah, bitch. Yes, yeah, so. Nowadays, you can find materia anywhere. But mine is special. It's good for absolutely nothing. Good for nothing? You just don't know how to use it. No, I do. It just doesn't do anything. I feel safe just having it. It was my mother's. Will that escalate it quickly? Say, I feel like talking. Do you feel up to it? <laughs> Sorry, Dalen, I didn't see your, your message until after I'd already chosen. <laughs> After all, here we are meeting again. I don't mind. Wait here. I've got to check my flowers. It'll just be a minute. <laughs> yep, they look like flowers. Oh, now I can move. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Just a little longer. Oh! Now that you mention it, We don't know each other's names, do we? My name is... And here's... <clears throat> here's where the Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy fanbase in general is divided. Is her name Eris, like it's here, or Aerith, which I will... Uh, because in the Japanese version, and in all media sense, even in the new remake, they're, 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 you know, hunkering down and saying it's supposed to be Aerith. But in the translation, when the game first came out, it was Eris. I'm thinking to help program my brain because with the remake, it's going to be Aerith. Aerith. I'm going to have to put Aerith here because... So, everyone always thought it was supposed to be Ares, like the god of war. But <clears throat> when the developers said it's actually Aerith because it's supposed to be like Earth. Because the planet and you know all that. So we're going to go with Aerith. Just, like I said, so I can start programming my brain for when the... Uh, remake comes out and everybody's calling her Aerith and I'm not going <sighs> <laughs> I personally don't care so because um reasons that I'm not going to spoil I'm Aerith the flower girl nice to meet you the name's Clued me? I do a little bit of everything oh wait that was that was Clued talking not bad oh a jack of all trades master of none but better to be knowledge in some than master of one. Yeah, I do whatever's needed. <laughs> kind of a big deal. <sighs> May have heard of me. Include ex soldier. What's so funny? What are you laughing at? Sorry, I just. What up, son? Oh, I, f I can move now. Sorry, bad timing on my part. Clued, don't let it get to you. Don't let what get to me. He didn't say anything. He just showed up and started staring. Ominously. <laughs> don't mind me. What up, son? Say, Clued, have you ever been a bodyguard? You can do anything, right? Yeah, that's right. Then get me out of here. Take me home. Country road. Okay. But it'll cost you. Okay then, let's see. How about if I go out with you once? No. 
Or apparently he agrees. A date for a bodyguard. If only the real world was like that. I don't know who you are, but... <laughs> West Virginia. <laughs> you don't know me. I know you. Oh yeah, I know you. That uniform? Hey sis, this one's a little weird. Shut up, Shinra spy. Reno, want him taken out? Uh, I haven't decided yet. Don't fight here, you'll ruin the flowers. Damn flowers. The exit is back there. And you, <laughs> they were Mako eyes. Yeah, all right. Come on, get to work. Oh, and don't step on the flowers. You just stepped on them yourself. <laughs> uh, goofy. All right. It looks like a fucking missile. All right, I'm trying to remember. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Little goblins. Oh yeah, I need to equip her with materia. Shit, I don't think I have materia. Fuck. Yeah, see, she she does like. So, Aerith is the one whose limit breaks. While powerful, she is not very potent enough to get the death kill on enemies, and she needs them to get her uh, her higher level limits, which is dumb. Let's take a character who's pure support, and all of her limit breaks are purely healing and you know status ailment removal, and make it so that you have to kill things with her to get more powerful limit breaks. Because that makes sense. Um, so she's the one who I might uh, cheat off screen, do a uh, some grinding to unlock her stuff. Oh, I do have. Okay, so I'm gonna equip her with Iron Bangle. We're gonna give her Ice and Fire. And then. Nope, I want Clued. I want Clued, not Status. I want Equip. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give him the Titan Bangle because it also increases defense, but I don't have any extra materia to give him, so we're good. All right. There they are over there. Clued that one. I know. Looks like they aren't gonna let us go. What should we do? Well, we can't let them catch us, can we? There's only one thing left to do. Super jump. <clears throat> Aerith, this way. All right, I'll hold them off. Right, make sure they don't get through. The agent is getting away. Attack, attack, attack. Attack, attack, attack. Yeah! Aerith, no. Think we killed them? They never should have fought us. Clued, help! Damn. Alright. What's that? Alright, so... <clears throat> you can tell her to run, you can have her fight them, which you go into a combat and she'll gain experience. Or you can do this, which if I do it right, may work. I don't remember which one... Does which? I think this one is the one I want. Nope, that was the wrong one. Shit. Oh, Clued, what are you doing? It's 
weird that there's no music during any of this. Fire his ass! So yeah, if you push the correct bold barrels over, it'll crush them and she doesn't get into a fight. But we'll get her some free experience. Seriously, where's the music? There's supposed to be music playing. Clued, help! So I'm supposed to push it there. I think this one I was supposed to push. Yeah, that was the one I was supposed to push originally. <clears throat> yeah, she doesn't even need help. Oh, Clued, what are you doing? Seriously, where's the music? Isn't I, th I thought there was supposed to be music during this. It's supposed to be like a timer music kind of thing. So weird that there's no song and there's no music. Yeah, so physically she can't, she doesn't really deal a lot of damage, but her magic stats are pretty high. She's, she's supposed to be the healer of the group. Cloud is supposed to be like the, the Dark Knight soldier tank. Barrett is your ranged firearms. Oh, I get into fights too? Shit. Um, and Tifa is your punchy character. She's she's pretty high DPS. Like Cloud can take a lot of hits, but Tifa can deal a lot of damage. Clued, help! We'll push this barrel. Yeah, see, it's supposed to be able- it's supposed to do that. Thanks, Clued. Aerith, this way! <laughs> They're looking for me again. You mean it's not the first time they've been after you? No. They're the Turks. Hmm. The Turks are a Shinra organization. They scout for possible candidates for soldier. This violently? I thought they were kidnapping someone. They're also involved in a lot of other dirty stuff on the side. Spying, murder, you know. Just so casual. They look like it. <clears throat> But why are they after you? There must be a reason, right? No, not really. I think they believe I have what it takes to be in soldier. Maybe you do. You want to join? I don't know. But I don't want to get caught by those people. Well, let's go. And by the way, that tiny little church building, that was the whole building. It was that small. It's like a church for ants. Wait! <sighs> Wait, I said! Eh! 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 <sighs> Slow down. Don't leave me. Funny. I thought you were cut out to be in soldier. Oh, you're terrible. Ha! <laughs> Let me shake my shoulders up and down to show you I am laughing. Ha 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 ha! For I am human too, yes? Ha ha ha! Hey, Clued. Were you ever in soldier? I used to be. How did you guess? Your eyes. They have a strange glow. As a sign of those who have been infused with Mako. 
a mark of soldier. But how did you know that? Oh, nothing. Nothing? Right, nothing. Come on, let's go, bodyguard. And I... <laughs> uh, that was a poll. I don't think very many people would get that one. Anyway. <laughs> Whew, finally made it off. Now what? My hoose is over here. Hurry before they come. All right, I'm gonna save it here. This is kind of where I wanted to end it earlier when I was like, oh, I know where we're gonna end. And we'll pick this up tomorrow. I'll, I'll probably do this again tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel. So, yeah. I don't know how to end this. It's, this is weird. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if I can raid anybody because I don't have any, I'm not affiliated or anything. I don't know how Twitch works. Been with the program for how many friggin' years and still don't know how it works. Hmm. But yeah, so we'll pick up tomorrow, continuing the adventures of Clued and the soldiers or, yeah, this terror, eco terrorists of the planet Avalanche. And, uh, with that, um, I don't really have a sign off in, or anything. I guess. See you tomorrow. I hope. This is awkward. This is weird. I apologize, but, uh, catch y'all on the flip side. Jam at the night. Can they still hear me? I don't think so.